Welcome back everybody, my name's Andrew, and this is going to be a really, really quick video. I've had a lot of people ask for an update on a homemade ice maker that I made right here. If you happen to be stumbling across this video and this is the first time watching, at the end of this one, and probably down in the description, I'll put a link to two videos where I built me a homemade ice maker out of a deep freezer. So to recap real quick, I've been really dreaming about having a uh, ice maker for a long period of time, like one of the Manawaks or bigger commercial ice makers that'll hold a couple hundred pounds of ice. Two to $3,000 was just well out of our budget. We use ice every weekend. Actually, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm bringing a cooler out here, scooping up a bunch of ice, and then going out on the boat for the day. We're weekend warriors, we use ice a lot on the weekend. It's becoming very expensive around here, $2.99 to $3.99 a bag is common price. So using that every weekend, it did not take long to figure out how to justify building one of these and paying for these. So just a real quick update, I'm gonna let you know some mods that we're gonna do here coming up before long, and just wanted to kind of show off the ice production, let you know where I'm at, how much I've used, and provide that update that y'all been asking for. All right, so all I did was take a seven cubic foot freezer and ordered a regular refrigerator freezer combo ice maker kit off of Amazon. All that will be down in the description as well as the videos to where I built this. I still have yet to clean up the wiring or make things for over here, but long story short, I've got two ice maker water valves hooked up to two ice makers inside here, and I built my own extension cord just for those two ice makers. Can't really see back here, but I also have an inline water filter, and I tap that water in right here behind the sink. So when we open this up, it's uh, very straightforward. Two regular refrigerator ice makers. I just built a couple brackets along with some L brackets here to hang them off of and they run 24 7 around the clock. If y'all look in the bottom, it's been it's been busy. These do not make nowhere near the production of the big two or three thousand dollar units, but I probably have 90 plus pounds of ice down there. I'm, I'm just guessing it's about a foot deep in ice right now. It does not stick together. A lot of people have asked that stick together at all and the reason it does not do that is because this always stays at zero degrees that's where I have it set actually it's a little below zero right now now when you think commercial ice makers the reason a lot of times ice uh, freezes together is because they run at about 32 degrees so there is melting of ice and then you can have refreezing I have yet to find a single two pieces of cubes uh, stuck together on this one right here again because they're coming out of the ice maker uh, at freezing temp they're sitting in the bottom and they're actually getting down to zero degrees so this is a much colder ice than normal too I had some people tell me that ice can only get to 32 degrees but that's just not true ice can get to a major minus temperature it just takes a while to get there it's 32 degrees where it transfers from a liquid to a solid I actually may go grab my thermometer and we'll just see what temperature that ice is This may not be very scientific here. I probably tell you what, let me drill a little hole in it and we'll go right to the center. So as y'all can see, we're flying past 32 degrees. So there goes that theory out the window that ice can only be 32 degrees. Thought I'd answer that one. Now my, <laughs> my fingers are starting to freeze. This is still dropping, but I'm also warming the ice up too. So we're already at 25 degrees right there. Definitely colder than 32. I may pull a bucket of ice out one day and really get this down in there to see how cold it will get. All right, so I have not tested it recently, but uh, the testing a while back showed it does about 50 pounds a week. I'm really thinking it's doing better than that because last week, for example, I took about 30 pounds out over two days. Then this past weekend, I took about another 30 pounds out of this. And then a couple days ago, we took about eight to 10 pounds out during the week. So I've been taking more than I said I would and it's still outrunning me, still filling up. So I question if it's doing a little better than 50 pounds, but I had a really awesome subscriber send me something. I'm gonna let y'all know what a couple future projects are for this. 
All right, so hopefully y'all can see here, I had a really awesome subscriber send me a couple of uh, different types of fans. These are the kind that you would mount in a kegerator. And the theory is if we move some of that super cold air up off the bottom toward uh, the ice makers, they'll be even more efficient and cool uh, better, produce more ice. So that's the, the theory at least. So we've got to figure out in an upcoming episode how we want to mount these in here, how we want to move that air but I can't mount them too deep because I want this to continue to fill up with ice. And my goal is I would love for it to get 150, 200 pounds of ice eventually. It's probably never gonna get there throughout the summer because I pull too much ice out of it a week. But it is very, very nice having this thing. I really enjoy it. So this is coming up in a future episode. We may be able to make this produce even more ice. Now I could always add another ice maker or two. That's the beauty of this system. I could add as many ice makers as I want. But I like having this big open space over here to really get down there and scoop my ice. So with that said, hopefully that answered your questions. Like I said, a big one was the ice does not freeze or stick. Hopefully you've seen that. I can shove my hand all the way down to the bottom. It's always been that way. The ice makers are working well for cheap Amazon do-it-yourself kits. Total cost in this right now after taxes is $369 for both the ice makers and the deep freezer, the water valves, everything. So I am very, very happy with that price. Based on how much ice it looks like it's producing and what ice costs around here, I don't think it's gonna take but about nine months for this to pay for itself. Plus it's hard to put a price on the convenience. I, I have drinks and everything I need to go out on the boat today, so there's no reason for me to go driving to a store that's out of my way to pick up ice. I have it right here, it's convenient. And like I told you, what I've actually been doing something i said i wouldn't do during the week if i have a cooler that we ice down over the weekend and two to three days later it's still got a little bit of ice and the drinks are cold it's so convenient to come out here and grab you another couple scoops flip it in there and then the cooler lasts for a couple more days so really really nice system enjoy it does it look professional no that's okay i saved a pile of money doing it if you have any other questions that's what the comment section's for down there drop one of those questions i'll be sure to answer it and like i said Coming up in a future episode, we're going to see if we can make this even more efficient. Although where it's at right now, I'm very pleased. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.